guys, so a couple of videos ago I asked if you guys would like to see a jewellery collection, lots of you said yes. I have recently redone the way I store my jewellery and I'm going to show you how I store it. It's not perfect, um, I think jewellery storage is always really hard to do because you never have like lots of the same jewellery, if you know what I mean, it's always different shapes and sizes, especially if you have a lot of delicate jewellery it's difficult to store while still having it on show, but I'm going to show you what uh, my jewellery kind of storage and collection looks like at the moment. As always with this type of video, I'm not trying to brag or show off, I'm just sharing something that I love with you guys and something I've been working on this week. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it, let's get into the video. Okay, so just to start with a little bit of a disclaimer, I'm not actually in my bedroom right now. Where I actually keep my jewellery day to day is on my dressing table in my bedroom. But, it sits in front of the window and it is so backlit that the filming situation was just not happening. So I've moved it into the spare room where actually, um, my jewellery box does live in here most of the time because it is antique. Um, I don't want it to get sun damage from being right next to the window. So that does live in here, but these don't. So I'll start off with these. As you can see, these were the jewellery stands that I bought and mentioned in my last video. And as you can see on here, on the smaller one, I keep um, bracelets. Oh, so I'm just going to go through them really quickly because there's a lot. I have some antique Chinese bracelets that my mum gave me as a gift. Um, from an antique auction. There is a Whistles bracelet that I bought recently, Mark Jacobs bracelet that was a gift from my mum, a couple of J. Crew bracelets. This one was actually a gift from Ingrid, this one I bought when I was in New York. I have a vintage Chanel button bracelet under here, which if I can get it out to show you, has a little vintage Chanel button on there. And then I have some of my May Movement bracelets um, around the top. I still really love these. It's been a couple of years since um, we all went to New York and got those. Um, and then if you guys remember what we're talking about, give this video a thumbs up um, if you've been watching that long. And then I have some Henry Bendel bangles. I have a spike bracelet which is from ASOS. I have a couple of Links of London ones. This one was a gift from Mike, the one with the skulls. Um, and then these two... Actually, the strawberry one was a gift from Mike as well, I think. And then this one was a gift from some of my friends. And then I have um, some Zara chunky chains, which I bought fairly recently too. So they are all of my um, kind of costume bracelets, I would say. And then moving on to the bigger stand, I have um, a selection of like my chunkier necklaces. So to go through them really quickly, this one um, I actually bought in LA in December from a brand called Lily Clasp, which I really love. This number's from J. Crew. this was a gift, I really like that one. This is from Aurelia at Topshop, um, Forever 21, this is from Ingrid's line for Bauble Bar, um, this is another Forever 21 chunky chain, um, this burgundy one is from Primark, this spiky one here is from H&M, and then I have a couple of ones from Zara, um, this one with the stones on is from Zara, I'm just going to move this out of the way. Um, and then I have a few more Forever 21 um, necklaces, this one is from Forever 21, and this lilac one is also from Forever 21, and this blue one is also from Forever 21, I like Forever 21 for statement jewellery. Um, and then this is actually a silver necklace that was a gift from my mum. There's this one from J. Crew, which I love, I got for Christmas, kind of antique style. And then another one from Forever 21 on the end, which is a pretty kind of fake opal style. This is actually really very, very awkward to film, so I'm hoping you guys are getting the idea. So that is my um, costume jewellery, and that lives on my jewellery stands like that. Actually, obviously not here on my dressing table, but you get the idea. And then in my jewellery box. This jewellery box is actually really special to me because I was given it for my 21st birthday from my grandma. Um, and I'd wanted one, like a proper antique jewellery box for ages. So she managed to track this down for me. I believe it was from an auction. It may have been from an antique shop, but I believe she got it at auction. Inside there is this really lovely velvet um, kind of top compartment. And it has, if you press up here, it has a secret compartment in there with a mirror. And it also has... Um, a little um, area for um, keeping secret documents. I actually keep um, a card from my grandma which I got with this and there's also um, some writing I believe. Um, this came with the box when she bought it so it's like an old letter and something else 
Either way, I'm keeping it in there because I think it's nice um, to keep that little bit of history together from the original owner of the jewellery box. And then I've actually brought this down onto the floor so that I can show you better the interior of the box. And as you can see on the top there is a tray with lots and lots of different sections and lots of different jewellery. So I'm going to go in a bit closer and show you some of the individual pieces. So in this section here I actually keep um, some of my more dainty necklaces. They're not necessarily um, very valuable or anything but they just are difficult to store on a jewellery stand because they get tangled up. So I have a few different ones here, as you can see, I'm not going to go through all of them. This one I love, it says Stop and Smell the Roses, that's from um, Kate Spade. And then I have my star necklace. This little one with the pearl was actually a gift for being a bridesmaid at my brother's wedding. There's a little bow one which is also from Kate Spade and that was a gift from Ingrid. And then there is a Tiffany & Co heart at the end which was a gift from Mike. And as you can see, I lay all the chains out along this soft kind of velvet piece here. I'm not sure if this is actually what that is for. Because it isn't for storing rings in because it doesn't have the slots to put them in, um, which would have made sense, but um, that's what I use it for anyway. And then in this section here I keep um, plain chains, just ones where, say if I have charms and I want to put charms or pendants onto a chain, that's where I keep the plain chains. And then in this section here I keep all of my charms. So I have a lot of different ones here. I have a lot of different Thomas Sabo ones actually. Um, when I was younger, kind of late teens to about 21, I used to collect these. Mike used to buy them for me and my mum used to buy them for me for like Christmas and birthdays and things. That's my gummy bear one, which was actually one of my favourites. So I've kept all of those. They're all in there. Um, and then I have a few different kind of sentimental pieces. This pendant, um, locket was actually from my best friend Lissy and inside of here if I can show you guys it's quite fiddly is a picture of Lissy they're actually one of them's turned upside down um, one is a picture of Lissy and the other one is a picture of Mike which is quite funny um, and then just a few other different pendants and stuff in there and then moving up to the row above in this little section here I keep stud earrings um, I don't actually have very many because I don't change earrings very often um, but that's where I keep a kind of general selection of studs. Um, there's not too many interesting ones in here. There's a little set of Marc Jacobs ones. Um, and there's these pink hearts I've actually had since I was about 15. Um, so there's a few things that I've kept for a really long time. Um, and then I have, along this top here, I have bigger earrings. Now, as you can tell, I'm not a big earring person because I have very, very few. The two most interesting ones here, these are quite sentimental for me because I bought them... Um, a long, long time ago, I think I was 15, um, and I wore them so much, so they just remind me of when I was younger, and I never really want to throw them away. They're not worth much. I think they're about €8 Euros on a Portuguese market or something like that. Um, but I used to really love them, and then these are actually, um, I don't know if you can see there, they're vintage Karl Lagerfeld hearts, which were originally my sister's, and she never wore them. Um, so she gave them to me, and I think they're from probably the 90s, but quite an interesting little set of earrings anyway. And then a few other different things, and then in the back section here is where I keep my statement rings. So as you can see in here, I've got a few ones with stars on. This is one of my favourites. This was actually a gift from my brother um, a couple of years back. Um, and then a few more, some ones with stones in. Yeah, this one I actually got when I went to San Francisco when I first met Ingrid and we bought the same ring. Um, so yeah, a lot of memories attached to that. And then I have a few more statement rings in here. And then in the end is where I keep smaller rings um, that are kind of less sentimental or less valuable because I have another compartment for my more kind of special rings. So I'm going to show you that compartment first because it is quite cool actually. There's this little knob here that when you pull it, there's a secret, this is why I love antiques, there's a secret compartment under here, and this is where I keep uh, more sentimental pieces, slightly more valuable items, but not ridiculous, and um, yeah, so in here I keep um, my silver bracelets, most of these were actually gifts um, for either my 16th or my 18th birthdays, this one in particular was um, a gift from my brother for my 16th birthday, um, and I loved this because he actually chose it himself and I was like so happy that he'd made the effort to choose it himself. Um, yeah, funny things like that that you remember. And then also this one is quite sentimental too. This is my charm bracelet. And a lot of these charms I've actually had since I was probably eight or nine. There's one in particular that my grandma bought me 
um, which is this one with knives and forks on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, but yeah, that I have had for a very, very long time and I love it. So that's where I keep my silver bracelets. I went through a phase when I was about um, 16, 17, I used to wear most of these like every day. So I used to have tons of bracelets on. And then next to my bracelets, I keep my rings. And these are a selection of different kind of cocktail rings um, and technically costume jewellery, but they are like semi-precious stones. My favourite one is actually this one, um, which is a star with little diamonds in it. That's um, antique that my mum gave me. And sadly, it's actually missing a diamond, which is why I don't wear it much anymore. Um, I need to get that replaced at some point. And then in the middle here is where I keep um, my diamond earrings. These are um, little flowers that um, I got given from Mike one Christmas. And then there are some little star dangly ones that I got given from Mike another year as well. And then I also have a spare belly button bar in there, which I didn't know where else to keep it. So it ended up in there. And then next to that, I keep um, my pearls. This is a string of black pearls I got from being a bridesmaid at my sister's wedding. And then this is just a um, little pearl bracelet as well. So those kind of slot back in there. I don't think it's any particular um, security from burglars because if they were going to steal uh, my jewellery, I think they would just take the whole box. Um, but either way, it's nice to have that little kind of security. So that is the top layer. And then, as you can see here, I'm going to try and do this one-handed. Um, this little shelf comes off. And here is where I keep all of my watches. So I have an Armani one that I had when I was 17, I think. I used to wear that all the time. I used to have an orange strap, but it got so dirty that I had to change it. I have my rose gold Lynx of London one, a Swatch one. This is an antique pocket watch that my sister gave me. Um, I think it was for my birthday, either last year or the year before. Um, this is a toy watch. Uh, Mark Jacobs one, uh, Michael Kors one, and this one is from Juicy Couture, which I got when I first started YouTube. And then I also have in here this funny thing, which is um, a necklace or a bracelet, and you kind of mould it into whatever shape you want. It kind of is all kind of folded up now, but... Um, and I had that when I was about 16. I used to wear it all the time, and I don't want to kind of get rid of it, because I really like it still. And then there's also this tiny little silver clutch bag in here. This was a gift from my mum this Christmas actually and it is from 1913. My mum finds all sorts of exciting interesting things um, at antique auctions and this is one of them so that is quite precious. So that's it for my jewellery collection. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you did and I will see you in my next video. Bye! With another in my top 10 under 10 pounds series and this time I'm going to be talking about blushes due to a lot of requests from you guys.